guys welcome back to my channel Tylene so as promised I said I was gonna try and do a tutorial on how I made my pumpkin scarecrow this little guy but I'm going to make the girl so this time instead of using pipe cleaners I'm going to use um, floral wire from Dollar Tree this is where you can find this in the floral in the floral aisle so it doesn't matter what color that we use because as you can see we cover most of it up and I'm just going to use this for my body to create the body so here I have three pieces of wire and you can see one two three four five six almost six and a quarter inches and that's going to be for my arm and this I'm just going to this is exactly six inches I guess it doesn't really matter but this we're going to use to put the put the uh, pumpkin head on because this one doesn't have a stem. Here we have the pumpkin and we're going to take the um, floral wire. I'm going to just add a little bit of hot glue on. So I'm just putting the, wire, the floral wire in to the pumpkin through the bottom and just let that set up. So next thing we're going to work on is the body. So what I did, I took cardboard, just a piece of cardboard from packaging. Took the cardboard and I cut out like a trapezoid type shape, like a dress almost, okay? And what I did, I took four pieces that are the same and um, I took a fifth piece and cut in two, cut it in two so that I can have a space in the middle. You see that opening right there and you can see right through. So I want that so that once I get my body and my legs on the armature together, I'm going to feed that into the cardboard and get this situation set up. Let's do this. I do want to wrap this like we did the pipe cleaner. This all doesn't have to be perfect. So your fabric and everything will be covering the majority of this stuff up. So I'm going to fold almost even even lengths on both sides. But this whatever part you're gonna wrap with, let it be a little bit longer and then Just squeezing it so that it would go together and perfect that's what we want okay just gonna use my hot glue again have that set up so now we're gonna take our body and stick the wire into the body yep just like that so now I'm going to put some glue right where the pumpkin and the cardboard touch. Get it as centered as you want. I'm going to wrap this once again. There you go. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to turn it in on itself. And there you go. So now I have it secured in there, pretty secured at least. And I'm going to use my glue gun and just fill it up as, as much as we can. And I'm going to let this sit for a minute so that the hot glue can set up. Okay? And that's what we have so far. As far as the scraps, it's just really literally scraps from a dress. And it's the same scraps that I use on the boy scarecrow. Okay, so there it is. There's our boy. And we really want to let that sit so that the glue can just really take hold. Like I did with the uh, boy, I just want enough to cover the arms what I want to do is cut this in half so 
cover each arm separate. Alright. Okay guys, so now the legs have set up and I just wrapped one of the sleeves on one of the arms. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, I'm going to take, oh, and I also trimmed some of the uh, cardboard away under the arm just so we can have some room to play and I'm just sticking some glue right up under the head. Okay. And I'm going to stick the sleeve right way up in there just so we can tack the um, sleeve to the body. Okay. And I'm just wrapping the fabric around the arm. gonna put a bead of glue just a bit, a little too much right there but put a little bead and glue it together just like that and we just tuck that around the back and you won't even know that uh, that they used hot glue so see I made my sleeve long and I just push it up along the arm. Okay, now we're just gonna roll this, just, just get it out of the way for, for now. This is funny because the little craft clothespin, I'm just gonna use that to hold the arm sleeves up out of the way for now we're not going to do anything with that right now. Okay. This time I'm using the bottom hem of the dress that I cut all this up from. So take a piece, doesn't matter. This one is nine inches close, pretty close. Anyway, we're going to use that to wrap our body. And we're just going to put a bead of glue right down the side or the top of your dress, I guess you want to call it. And fold that hem down. Okay? Just like so. Well, you want the edging to be right up underneath the arms. Okay? So that way, you know, to cover the cardboard. Just trim off your excess. Be careful, don't trim too much off this up in there just like so like that what I'm gonna do take some glue right up under her neck and just spread that glue right there and just take the edge right up to the top and push it up under her neck trim this one on okay so I got it all wrapped up in the back and I just wanted to make sure that my hem was all even and you know you just tidy it up in the back on the back side so I got the back done that's what it looks like for now so I just made sure that my band was lined up and the hem was all you know nice and finished okay guys so I made little socks socks for our little girl here and I just took a strip of fabric of like so many inches and then cut them pulled it down and cut it in half so that it was the length that I wanted and then I just ran a bead of glue and folded it over and now I'm just gonna turn it <clears throat> turn it right side out and I just do that take something to push it through and um, just flip the socks inside out, okay? And then what we're going to do, and I will flip that in a minute, um, we're just going to take this and we're going to put some hot glue again at the base of the girl. And stick that in slide the sock down and stick it right on that glue and let it sit 
see how long it is. So I got my socks on, they're attached, and I'm just sliding the socks onto her leg. I'm going to use cardboard and draw out my shoes. Make one foot first. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay, so I just drew a shoe. Well, somewhat of a shoe. And then I'm going to cut um, eight little feet. Okay, and I'll come back after I do that. And she can stand. You just got to pose her right, and she will stand on her own. But anyway, I'm just going to cut a piece of orange felt. And this is more than enough. folding it in half. Okay, and you just get two pieces close enough. And I'm just going to match the hands. Pull the sleeves. So I'll get her hands on. Yep. Alright. Get the last one on. Take these off now. Glue her sleeves right about there. Guys, I gotta go cook dinner. Oh god. I'm sure everybody has a four day weekend. And have a great Labor Day weekend. I may or may not be able to come back and finish this with you all, but if not, I will. I know I definitely will finish, I mean, post the final product. Okay, so I hope you guys try it out. Look at her. She's very simple. Just so we know she's a girl, we may work out something like that. Matter of fact, because if you can't tell she's a girl already with the freaking dress on, <laughs> we're gonna tie some lace on her hair, her head. Definitely want to see that up. I mean, look at that. Just with that. Pretty cute. See that? I think we're just going to back up again. Glue that. Right? How's that look? Well, not it. Why not? Ah, she's so cute. Made out of cardboard and fabric. It's about securing the lace to the pumpkin, and it won't. But look at how cute. Look at her. Too cute. Thanks for joining me. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And happy fall, y'all. Keep crafting. Bye.